It cannot be disputed child deaths have for long been high globally. According to the World Health Organization, almost 7 million children died in 2011. Halfway in Africa due to neonatal causes, pneumonia, diarrhea, malaria, measles and HIV and AIDS. Uganda identifies with most of these with malaria taking the lead. Dr. Jessica Nsungwa from the Ministry of Health says some parents get disenchanted with family planning at this point. They want to have seven children, maybe two will die of malaria, so they hope they will remain with three. So then they want to have big numbers from the beginning. Vincent Wadriff, a resident of Maracha district in West Nile, married with four women and 14 children, doesn't disagree with this fact. You know, God uh, have his program. It can pick me, it can pick the sum of children. I can remember some of them. Yeah. Wadriff explains his big number of children. Because I marry four women. If it was one, I could have four or five. But why the four women? What Riff says that for him, his main reason is that he's serving the many women in Uganda. We're helping them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your son is even listening to you, so you wouldn't mind if he got. But uh, I will brief them, they should have only one or two. He knows he has women figured out, saying none can want to have one child. Even she cannot appreciate it. How do you know? I know. She like it. And she want to have again. Yes. <laughs> that is a new one. I didn't know. That if one. it is you, will you be happy if you produce only one? Yeah. No. From his four, he demands at least four children. This retired soldier turned farmer is not ashamed to say that most times denying them sex helps with control. They know that if I don't like it, they cannot do anything. And the women as well have been brought to speed of his dislike for family planning. Felista Chandiru says. She has never used any method. Mm. Fears are that some produce many children and don't care for them. Often they suffer malnutrition, which contributes to more than a third of all child deaths. And when they die, they continue yearning for more children. Health experts are convinced that if they know their children can survive the diseases, then they may produce less. UNFPA's Dr. Babatunde can't agree more. In the last 10 years, we have recorded significant re reduction in child mortality, under five mortality. When women and families try to have more children because they are not sure they will survive, um, I think that phase of our lives in this continent is gone. In Uganda, for example, one in every 19 children dies before their first birthday and one in every 11 before their fifth. However, under five mortality reduced from 152 deaths per 1,000 live births recorded in the 2006 Uganda Demographic and Health Survey to 90 deaths per 1,000 live births in 2011. I think this is coming from the simple measures that we take, uh, nutrition, uh, immunization, sanitation, those things really do work. Without this, however, many continue to gamble, producing more, which reproductive health experts say is unfortunate, because as they struggle to have more, they increase their chances of dying. And we know scientifically that with each child that grows in you, your body is investing and is losing something. If you have children very close, if you have children every 10 months, you, you, you stand a higher risk. Family planning is a high priority for the Minister of Health, but they worry at the rate at which some Ugandans disregard it. Yet the country has one of the world's highest fertility rates, matched by deaths. I also want to say that many women have more children than they, they, they really do want to have because they don't have access to family planning. And when you talk to them, they will tell you that actually, you know, I didn't want to have this number. The country can take over most of these services and buying the products. We are also doing a campaign for family planning, and right now in the ministry, we are reviewing the bottlenecks. To address family planning is just a new concept, which has found him with his big family in place. So now, are you interested, would you be interested in it now that it's here? For family planning? Mm. Me, I can't go there. And yet we see that women are not discussing with the husbands 
they are not agreeing as a family that these are the children we can comfortably have because of my health as a woman. The fact that his wives are still in their reproductive years puts them at risk of dying due to pregnancy-related complications if they continue with frequent births. A child who has lost a mother has six times chances of dying compared to one who has a mother. So it's very, very important and you know the, the problems which men face when they have lost their women, their wives, their children and so on. The care, the cult of care, there's a tendency to marry and again produce more children again who you cannot manage. So we would like to make sure that we account for every mother, we account for every pregnancy. This, she calls the continuum of care which requires everyone to be on board, including the men. Across the board in Africa, however, education is the greatest liberator for all parties. Coupled with improved care systems to reduce both maternal and child mortality, more people could start believing in having smaller families. Florence Dalimba, NTV.